Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a quick lesson on Billie Jean from the Rock School Grade 1 syllabus, originally by Michael Jackson of course. I wanted to do a lesson on this piece because there's one section in the middle, section C, that a lot of people struggle with when they get to. There's a, a difficult thing to play open and closed hi-hats, which takes a bit of work to get right. So I'm going to do a quick lesson all about that subject today. So first of all, I'm just going to play this section to you so you can hear what it sounds like. It should go something like this. So you can hear there's a lot of open and closed hi-hat in there, which can be a bit of a challenge coordination-wise if you're just starting out. So the purpose of this lesson is just to go through this bit and try and show you some ways that you can break this down, make it a bit easier, start slower and hopefully put it all together. The first thing to do is to make sure that you're happy playing a closed hi-hat and an open hi-hat. and get used to changing between the two. So, I'm going to play closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, closed hi-hat, alternating like that, very slowly. It sounds like this. So you're probably fine playing an open hi-hat, it's not too difficult. You just lift your foot when you play the hi-hat with the stick. What's slightly harder is when the hi-hat's already open and you need to close the hi-hat, you have to play the stick and the foot pedal at exactly the same time, which should give you one sound. What can happen here is two separate sounds. If your foot is slightly before the stick, you'll get two distinct sounds which you don't want. You want them to be the same, exactly the same time. So we need to try and put that together open, closed, open, and every time you close the hi-hat, try and make sure the stick and the foot are working together at exactly the same time. So it should go like this. Going over to section C in the book, you notice section C is made up of four bars. They're all slightly different. Now the first bar is nice and simple because that is just playing the, the groove on with a closed hi-hat throughout. That sounds like this. Bar 18, which is the second bar in this section, has one open hi-hat. So again, a good way to do this, take this bar on its own. We're just going to play through it very slowly. And you'll notice the open hi-hat is on the very last note of the bar on four and. So when we get there, we can Try and get that open hi-hat in, and then repeat the bar round and round. So it will sound like this. And you'll also notice there I'm playing a lot slower than the song tempo. You don't have to play full speed straight away. It's much better to try and work it out slowly first. Practice it slowly, try and build your speed as you go through, and then eventually you'll find you can play it at the speed of the song. So the next bar to look at is bar 19. It has two open hi-hats in. First one is on two and, and then we've got the one on four and that we had in the last bar as well. So I'll play this one through slowly. And again, as we did with the previous bar, play it through a few times, just that bar on repeat, get used to how that feels. And finally, we have bar 20, which is possibly the toughest bar in the song. This is the one where we have continuous open and closed hi-hat, starting with closed. So I'll do this very slowly.
Now this is the one you're most likely to struggle with if you're new to this. So what I suggest you do when you're working through this bar is to focus on one note at a time. So I'll work through it. So the first note will be bass drum and hi-hat, hi-hat closed. Then your second note will be an open hi-hat. Third note will be hi-hat and snare. Open. So you see how slowly I was working through that. Don't be tempted to try and play it quickly because it will probably go wrong to start with. Take your time, start very slow, and try and piece it together very gradually. So you should end up with this. And that is the toughest bar in the section. So when you feel like you've mastered all four bars in that section individually, you could probably guess the next stage we're going to try and put them all together. So we're going to start at the beginning of section C and again do this very slowly. I'm going to play it through slowly now. So feel free to play along at this slower tempo. And once you're comfortable playing through slowly, obviously the next stage is to try and gradually increase the tempo until we get to the tempo of the song, which in this case is 117 beats per minute. So I'm now going to play this section up to tempo so you can hear what it sounds like with the backing track. I do have the whole track recorded in the resources section on my website, so if you want to hear the whole thing played through, have a listen to it there. For now, I'm just going to play section C. Mm -hmm. 